everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating in my studio. Every day I share a video with you on YouTube in which I paint and create all sorts of nature inspired pictures. I also share loads of tips on how to make the most of your painting journey, interrupted fairly frequently by our family of dogs, cats, chickens and sheep. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Okay, so I'm going to give my um, water brush a little bit of a workout now. I'm going to be um, having a go at painting a bee eater, which is a, a lovely bright yellow and green bird with a flash of red on his head. And I've just drawn the sketch out here. So if you want to um, have a go at this, by all means, go to dianenton.com and um, you can download all of the sketches there, including this one. You just need to pop it in the basket and uh, check it out with a payment of zero. Um, and if you want to, you can put something in the tip jar if you, if you uh, download a whole bunch of them. But they are basically free. So for this painting, I'm going to be trying it out with um, basically um, a kind of phthalo green or Windsor green, which is a bright um, Viridian type of color. I've got quinacridone gold as usual. I've got a kind of light cadmium yellow. Um, and I've got here a, a bright red, which is cadmium red. I've also got a little bit of alizarin crimson or permanent rose and a few other purple, uh, blues and um, greens here, which I may or may not use. So we have the bird and he's in place. He looks a bit like a kookaburra to me. I think I might have made his head a little bit too big, but never mind, it doesn't really matter. I might need some black as well, actually. So I'll just go hunting for that. There we are, for his eye. And um, yeah, no, I think that's fine. I don't really mind if he looks a bit like a kookaburra. So I'm going to pick up some of this um, dark brownish black and I'm just going to drop in an eye so that we have a, a sense of who we're dealing with here. And then I'm going to um, just lay in the bottom part of his beak. And uh, he's got a kind of um, dark area around his eye. We'll leave a tiny white line between um, his eye and his makeup, so to speak. And we'll just draw that in like that. Then I'll clean my brush and I'll just pick up some of this cadmium red, which is going to go on the top of his head here. And then that's going to be washed down a little bit there at the back of his head with yellow. And afterwards I can come back in with more black and darken that up. And then underneath here, he's got a lovely turquoise area. And um, this is probably a little bit light drier now, so I can just come in and put the top part of that beak in place. So there we are, that's nice. And then I'm going to pick up some yellowish green, which is my um, Windsor green plus um, cadmium, um, yeah, cadmium yellow. And uh, let's just pop that in for the back of his, his furry, not furry, feathery coat like that. And we'll put a little bit more yellow up here. And when you are using this water brush, if you decide to have a go with the water brush, the thing to do is you pick up the paint and then as you're putting it on, you just pump very gently and let a little tiny bit of water out as you go along. And some people have said, I mean, I'm new on this, so I'm not, uh, I'm not the be all and end all of, of how to do this, but I do know my daughter said to me, oh, mum, don't take the valve out because if you do, you wouldn't do that to a fountain pen, she said. If you do that, it'll probably leak. So I didn't take the valve out. That's why I um, put it under water to, 
to fill it up. I was struggling breaking my nails, trying not that I've got much in the way of nails, but breaking my nails trying to get uh, to get the little, you know, you know what I'm talking about. This. That's quite tightly in. I don't know if they think it ought to come out, but I'm not taking it out. I can fill it up by submerging it, pressing the air out, letting it fill up like that. Works fine. Don't need to fuss with all of that. So that's just a tip. If you uh, if you're struggling with that valve, I don't think it's meant to come out. Anyway, no. Well, I do, I don't know. My daughter says it shouldn't come out, and you know I listen to her, don't I? Okay, so that's the first coat of paint for this little birdie. And um, so then I'm going to come in and uh, put some green down here on the branch to start with. And then I'll just pick up some a sort of light brown, which is this color here, which is Van Dyke brown which I used for the eye, mixed with quinacridone gold. So I could just pop some of that in. I've got some nice paper here. I don't know what it is, but it's fairly rough. It's not actually rough, but it is on the rough side. And it's quite a nice texture. So while that's drying, um, I'm going to come in with a bit more green and uh, start doing some leaves up here. And I'm using exactly the same style that I normally use when I'm painting with um, an ordinary paintbrush changed anything so if you're just using an ordinary brush you can just do exactly what I'm doing but I am experimenting for myself with uh, with something I've never used before so we're just putting in a few random Leaves. I have to keep restraining myself from dipping myself into the water, but um, yeah. Okay, and uh, let's bring up a bit of a branch from here, down this side perhaps, and put some leaves here. I don't know what kind of plant this is that I'm painting. It doesn't really matter. And then I think I'll um, clean my brush and I'm just going to put some water on the paper there, just fairly liberally. And I'm just going to pick up a mixture of quinacridone and cadmium yellow. And I'm just going to drop in like this, some indications of flowers. And I'll add a little bit of orange. And then the thing is, we'll just we'll just let that blend, and uh, maybe put a little bit more green in here, and then we'll just let that do whatever it wants to do. And then maybe I'll just pop a little bit more water up here as well, and do basically the same thing, just slightly differently, but same idea.
bring it down here a little bit too. Just to give the impression that the bird is sitting in a nice flowery flower. Now I'm not sure if that's dry enough yet to come in and put his foot in, so I don't think I'll do that. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, not quite sure whether that's dry enough, but what we need to do Okay, we need to strengthen this back area here, so we'll just Let's do something like that and then we maybe a little bit more dark down here in the front. And down here. And then thinking about the head, come back up here and reinforce that colour. A little bit more yellow here. Again. And um, a little bit more green just around here. And then the dark. And I'm going to be careful there, I'm not going too close to this bit. So we'll let that dry before we come back and finish him, him off. Um, and probably put his foot in now. And just do that and I'll improve that later and then we're just a little bit more dark down here. A few darks in up here. So that, when that's dry, that will just need a little bit of sharpening up around the eye, possibly. I don't want that to, to bleed. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to play with that because I'm afraid it's going to run. So we'll let that dry and I'll come back to that shortly when it's all done. So there we are. And I think just down here, we might just put in a little bit more shape in the middle of these flowers, where it's faded back a bit. I like these lines that it's caused around the edges, don't you? And I think that's probably just about done. Now we'll have to wait for it to dry completely before I can take off the um, uh, rub out the pencil, but I'm hoping that that will mostly come out. It's a little bit around here, a little bit around here. Apart from that, it's mostly not visible. It's still quite uh, damp, so we can still drop a bit more colour in there. I'm not squeezing the brush at the moment, I'm just using it as a brush rather than a pump. So I think I'm going to stop there and we'll call that done. So thank you very much for being with me today. If you did enjoy that, if you wouldn't mind giving me a like and subscribe and uh, turn on notifications um, so that you can see uh, every time something new comes up. We do try to get a video up every day, technology willing. Um, we usually put something up in the evening around about uh, 7 or 8 o'clock our time usually or sometimes a little bit earlier. Um, so that's something that we are aiming for. Go along to my website, dianeanton.com and you will find there um, all the sketches 
of all the paintings that we've done over the last few months and they're all free to download. We have a, dip, a tip jar there for you if you want to contribute to the running of the site because we don't charge anything for anything we do. We just leave it up to you to decide. And um, the other thing is that um, with Christmas just around the corner, we are going to be offering prints of the paintings that we've done on here. So if you look in the description below the videos, you can pick any video painting at all and you can have that shipped to you as a high quality print. And um, we're going to be starting that up now, as of now, so you can start thinking about your Christmas presents a bit in advance. So um, yes, a high quality, quality giclée print of any one of my paintings, as long as we can actually print it. There's one or two that are a little bit um, difficult, like the things on black paper, we can't do that. But apart from that, any of them um, are available. So um, take a look at that if you wouldn't mind and uh, keep us busy. We don't want to be sitting around doing nothing, do we? Um, so have fun and uh, happy painting and I'll see you again here tomorrow. So bye for now, everybody. Bye bye.